<laughs> my next guest is a, he's a cosmic professional, man. He's a, somebody I call a man to respect. I love this guy, man. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. He needs some direction. Put your hands together. Show some love for Rex Omar. Rex, welcome, man. Thank you, bro. The customer professional. People will... I like you too much. Medasi. Miss Mibusa. Miss Mibusa. Okay, man. In the spirit of Emuono, we take a commercial break. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. So, welcome, man. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's man. Yes, yeah. They have villages, yes. Wow. I've wow. been behind the scenes, you know. You, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, you said it with music, man. And you're there's mm -hmm. something about the voice and there's something man um, that has always been like me pardon uh sanamete yeah maybe be different yeah different well have you have you stopped or have you taken a break or oh re congratulations anyway recently you were 233 yeah and you tore the place yeah. up man yeah. Cheers yeah. Around, man. <laughs> <laughs> you tore it up <laughs> wow and I was like so impressed, you know. I'm like, wow. Thank you. Are, are you taking a break? What's, what's the story with the music? Um, I can't stop playing music. Mm. Um, the whole thing is I decided to take a break for a while and then um, invest in something else okay. to secure the future of the children. Mm -hmm. Because I'm so passionate with music that uh, if I'm not very careful, I do it without even thinking of the money. Mm, mm, you know, so mm. then um, at the end of the day, bills have to be paid. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I decided to buy some time to invest to secure the future of the family. Mm -hmm. Then I can play the music till mm -hmm, I drop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Smart move, man. Smart move that eludes many artists, you know. Yeah. And sometimes the, 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 the love for the show overrides the business. Exactly. And so we end up not you know what i'm saying especially when 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 you you are in a country like ghana mm -hmm. it's a small country the market is small mm -hmm. and, and then there's no um safety net mm. so if you're not very careful and you'll be taken over by the show yeah and by the time you realize you grow up like a pauper and then and yeah everybody will end up blaming you mm -hmm. um, it has elude, uh, eluded a lot of artists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and still unfortunately yes. continue to elude yeah. artists it is, yeah, yeah. But I, I had this, I don't know whether there's a rumor to, that you're now going to cocoa processing, something to that effect? Yes, uh, I'm in a business of cocoa processing with um, some partners of mine. Really? And then I also decided to um, work out to set up some kind of a financial um, institution for the creative arts. Because I realized that uh, most of our people are not financially um, literate. So the money comes and they think that it will continue to come. And so they spend it anyhow. And by the time they realize it's everything is gone. gone. So um, since 2009, I, I put the plans together to set up some kind of a financial institution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Because um, I was getting some information. Eh? Yeah. You're doing a credit union a sort credit of thing union, yeah. for, for, the, for, the art, yeah. for music, for me, artists. For, yeah. for, for the creative arts. It's is the first of it kind, its kind in, 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 in the world. Uh, we call it showbiz credit union so everybody that falls within the showbiz fraternity you are given opportunity to be part of it member owned you can get soft loans where does this idea come from um, rex because it's 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 it's, 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 a, it's a it's a stroke of genius yeah. you know um, to i think um all ideas come from god but the the very most important thing is everybody who has followed my career is i'm very passionate about the creative arts and um, I love the people who are in it. Some of them, um, for no fault of theirs, the event sticks over them. And by the time they realize they've grown up, mm. they have nothing to hold on mm. to. Um, so I decided to, for the love of it, just do this as today. When I'm, tomorrow, when I'm not there, everybody would know that. Because this is what Rex contributed. Yeah. So um, it is... A platform that we're going to encourage a lot of the up-and-coming artists to save small small even if it's a 20 cd a month you see most people who have grown up and has becoming uh, has become financially independent 90 percent of them are people who have been saving small small for a, a long time consistently because those who get big breaks they are just five percent you know 
But if you save consistently, it's, 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 it's a kind of um, um, a principle mm -hmm. or it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you say every money that passes through my hand, I'll put 20% somewhere. If you do that and it becomes your habit, by the time you realize you are rich, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. and most people don't do that and uh, they keep blaming people for their own mm -hmm. um, uh, mistakes. So this is opportunity um, for all of us. And I will invite you to be one of the investors to encourage the young people, you know, no matter how little or whatever you put in for people to know that people like KSM is part of it. And I want credible people. I want it to be the most transparent and the most powerful. Imagine that if we have, say, 20, 30,000 people in the creative arts contributing 20 CDs to their own credit union. Imagine what people can borrow money to buy their own equipment to work. And also, I want the generation, up and coming generation, to understand that here in Ghana, if you are doing music or in film or whatever, if you don't do something to support it, mm -hmm. and you want to depend only on music, that, yeah. Everybody will say, oh, Rexoma, Rexoma, Rexoma. By the time you realize the name is big and then there's nothing to hold on to yeah. it. And that is, for you to become popular without money is a curse. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> because popularity without money, yeah. if nobody knows you, you can hide in some corner to chop your cocoa and your watch. Yeah. But to become popular, everybody wants, you, you don't want people to see you sitting in the corner chopping cocoa or, or, or queuing for torture. <laughs> so you see, you, you, you have to live a Especially, certain life yeah. that you don't, you can't sustain it, mm, you know. Mm, so mm. Um, I'm advising people that yes, you're doing the music, but check yourself. If there's something you can do, small, small to support it. So that at the end of the day, um, I hate to see musicians, actors, people in the creative yeah. as grow up yeah. and then they become like a, a public ridicule. Yeah. Like yeah. he's ill and somebody will have to bail him out. Yeah. I see if yeah, you and yeah. it's mm -hmm. not like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A is okay. Mm -hmm. um, we just have to plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah love, love. And I agree with you perfectly. You know, I agree with you perfectly. And and in a way uh, that image of how uh, many end up seems to be really gaining ground, yeah. you know. It's something that we have to disabuse. Yeah. I told one of our musicians that, look, you're always complaining, but if you sit down and ask yourself every week the amount of money you spend in buying credit on your phone mm -hmm. to do useless chats, mm -hmm. you just, any time you buy credit, put the, put amount, the, the amount yeah, of the card the down. And by the end of the month, you see the amount of money you have wasted just putting on your phone, watching useless stuff on uh, Facebook and you doing useless chats. Why don't you save some of that money? If you drink three bottles of Guinness, why don't you drink one and keep two? Mm. And this small, 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 small thing for a long time becomes a security. Mm. You know, mm. there are so many people, since I became the chairman of Gamro, there are so many up and coming artists because they think the Gamro money is too small, they don't care. They don't even want to know. I'm asking you, even if you don't like the money, you just come and sign up and ask Gamro to put that money in some kind of uh, pension for you. In 10, 20 years that nobody wants, new artists will come. Yeah. As soon as they yeah. start to call you uncle, they are telling you that Masa, Masa is it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now everybody's calling me Uncle Rex. Uh, well, like you call me Papi. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so, as soon as they start calling you uncle, mm -hmm. they are telling you that when yeah. you so get out and give us the way. Yeah. And yeah. that time, if you, are, you have any self-respect, you yeah. wouldn't be going around chasing small gigs with some small boys. If you have invested something, mm -hmm. you will live a comfortable life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, this is what I want to do. And I'm also behind the scenes trying to help structure the collective management system mm, in Ghana mm, so that mm. uh, most of the musicians who are doing great works, at least at the end of the day, their copyright will be secured. Yeah. You yeah. Know? What, what is the state of the copyright right now in Ghana? I mean, royalties and things, are they, is it now starting to work? Um, it's, it's, it's working now. Now, at least Ghana have one of the best laws so far as copyright is concerned. And then we are also gradually... Um, the co uh, collective management organization, which is now we have three in Ghana one for music, which is um, Ghana Music Right Organization, GAMRO, uh, which I'm the chairman, and then we have um, 
ASOC, which is audiovisual rights, mm -hmm. and then we have a copy Ghana that deals with literary works and books and stuff like that. Um, it is coming up. Technology overtook us, but we are working hard to bridge the gap. Mm. And then also most music users don't understand why they have to pay for music usage. And then even the creators themselves don't even know how to protect their own mm. rights. I mean, somebody called me that um, he's seen a manifest sitting on BBC saying that, oh, I've never received a penny from Gamro. And my question is, manifest, are you a member of Gamro? Mm. You are not. You are just writing the songs and just doing the shows. You are doing the business show without sure. thinking of the business. The business yeah. If you are a writer, come and assign your rights to Gamro and empower Gamro to collect your royalties for you. So when you do that and you don't even need the money, Gamro can save the so money for you. So gradually things are happening. We are just about to sign an agreement with an organization to digitally monitor all the radio stations and mm. TV stations mm. so that we can have program returns to be able to do um, equitable distribution. And then we are just about to get there. Wow. And we are wow. signing a reciprocal agreement with PRS for Music so that Gamble can control 80% of the global repertoire. Mm. So whether it's foreign music or local music, you pay for it. Wait, wait, wait. So we are working hard. And, 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 and I, I'm very impressed because you've been talking about this for the longest time since I knew you. Yes. You've always been talking about this royalty thing, copyright thing, and it's just amazing how you have stuck with it. And today, you are starting to see some element of uh, progress it, it, in there. It is, it, is the, it is the backbone of any music industry mm. because it is only copyright that guarantees you mm -hmm. your income for 70 years after your death so when you write good songs so long as the songs are good and are evergreen even if you die 70 years after your death your children and your mm -hmm. grandchildren will continue yeah. to receive money so i'll give you a simple example efe mamu wrote the national anthem i'm talking about yenara yeah, assassin, assassin. And telcos used it. But it took Gamro to take the telcos to court on behalf of our member, Ephraim Amu, and we'll be able to get some good money for his children. Wow. You know, we're going to do a, 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 we're going to do a, first, a first release on it. You know, money that they would have never, never. gotten from anybody. But it's a, it's a good money. And because of if Mamu being a member of Gamro, we've been able to drag the telco to court and we have settled the case outside the court, but we've taken something substantial, substantial for, for the family. For the you know, every artist is made by a song. Just a song. One song and you are done. But if you don't protect that song, at the end of the day, you lose. So I'm in to help to structure the industry. I'm an entrepreneur, but don't make a mistake. I'm not stopping the music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there, there's yet more to come. You know, I, I, I've done an album. It's ready. Uh, so I'm looking for opportunity to just put it out there. You know. Wow. So wow. the young boys don't think that you're calling me uncle. I'm leaving it for you. Don't. Oh <laughs> 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 That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, um, let me. Your family? Like, I've never asked you. We yeah. haven't had a chat about. You just talked about leaving your heritage for your kids and yeah. stuff. How yeah. many? How many? I've got four kids. Four kids. Um, three girls and one boy. Okay. Mm. How old are they? What's the um, age? Uh, the, the eldest is 27. Um, she's a graduate. She has a um, first class in fashion, so she set up her own, co her own company. Fantastic. And then, and then, then her, her see, for, fortunately, unfortunately, mm. all my children are in creative arts. Oh, really? You know, her name is Anne. Okay. And Omar Ousumafo. Mm -hmm. And then the second one um, also did um, business. And she's also Yecha Omar Ousumafo. And then the boy is Rex Omar Jr. <laughs> and the last one, uh, uh, she's at uh, Wegehe. And uh, she's also, she says she wants to do uh, biochemical engineering. So okay, so she. She, well, she says when she finishes, she will go into uh, perfumery. <laughs> and the wife? Uh, my wife is a businesswoman. She, she's interested. She sells them jewelries and stuff like that. Um, she's been my backbone. You know, look at me the way I am. If my wife is not special, you can't. <laughs> 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 what, what do you do that it has to, it has to take her to, 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 you know, to, to um, cope I, with? I think I'm too strict. Mm. I'm too 
principled and rigid, and uh, that's how I am. Yeah. You know. No, let, let me tell you why. Because you have this uh, WhatsApp group yeah. about your showbiz, yeah. and I remember you made an announcement that don't. This is not a place to post personal stuff. Da yeah. da da da. You know. Yeah. And anybody who does post anything, the next second removed by Rex Omar. Which I'm proud. So we we will make it so you know. I, but, I, but, I, I believe that this is the kind of attitude we need to move this country forward. Thank you. You see. We, we are people who always want to bend rules. Yeah. You know, by nature. By nature, yeah. we want to bend rules. He knows this is wrong. He will do it and then, no, I could join And then, we are not going to and offer me, and I mean, it, it doesn't help. Yeah. One plus one is two. End of story. Don't paste anything there. Don't, just don't put it there because at the end of the day, it's a financial institution we are setting up. Yeah. If we don't deal with it, with principles, everybody will end up bending the, the, the rules. Yeah. So that's how I am. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I was so impressed, man. Because <laughs> I will see somebody who pays something, some, something they are organizing, some, the next minute I see, removed by Rex. Master, 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 your So your wife, your wife is getting used to your strictness, or um, she must be by now. I mean, I think God did it on purpose. I'm a very fast speaker, and she's very slow. So it's like, why are you so slow? But it's like, I, I realized that initially, when we got, married, so I was, uh, we got married, I was finding it very difficult. But then later, I realized that she was just a perfect balance. Mm. I'm fast, she's slow, so they increase the balance, mm. you know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what relaxes you? I mean, is this your music or Mus something else? M music? And uh, I love spiritual things, mm. you know, philosophical stuff. Mm, mm. I meditate a lot, and I love Christ, you know. So I spend most of my time reading about Christ, reading about things that I think I must know, mm. deeper things in God. These are the things that I spend my time on, and then these are the times that I write, I get my inspiration in writing music and stuff like that. Uh, I'm one person, I can't have hate. Mm. I, I don't get angry. Um, I just, I'm passionate with everything that I do, but um, I'm a free-spirited person. Mm. So in my free time, I just read good books and meditate and play some music and I'm cool. <laughs> what music do you listen to? What kind of music? A lot of jazz, a lot of uh, Afrocentric stuff. And then um, sometimes I listen to Indian music too. You know, mm. I want, yeah. I, you know, when you listen to this type of stuff and you, you, you fuse it with what is within you, it becomes unique. You know, so this mm. is what I mm. listen to. Mm. 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 Very soon I'm going to release some, some stuff. People will say, hey, where is Walk of Every? This mm -hmm. kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Wow, wow. Of the, of, the, of the contemporary stock of musicians, who, who, who do you listen to? Do you listen to any contemporary stuff? Who, who is your pick? Um, I think or that... who are your picks? I think that uh, some of the young guys are doing well. Ochame Kwame was doing good. Uh, then, when you manifest. I like his lyrics and his, his, his dexterity. And then, um, there are a couple of them. Uh, some of them who are doing high life, I mean, uh, this young boy, Kofi Kinata, mm -hmm. and then Bisaki there was also doing good, and um, what is this? How to be. But I, I wish that they would have the support to have that kind of sustainability. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, P, these guys, they release, they make one hit, two hit, three hits, and yeah. they find it difficult to continue yeah. because yeah. their support system is not there, you know? Um, and I wish that um, something will come up mm -hmm. um, to support and sustain them, you know. Mm -hmm. I also like Shatawale. The only thing I don't like about Shatawale is you are playing high life, making hits with big high life of your own creation, and you are calling it uh, dancehall. That's what I don't like about it. <laughs> <laughs> because the hell of dancehall. <laughs> ah, because most of his hit songs to me, they are, they are a high life that he has created himself. So with his rudeness and all that if he has called his high life maybe rude boy high life or something like that 
then they would have taken our music somewhere else, mm. you know. But with all the hype and stuff like that, and you are calling it uh, dancehall. dancehall to promote other people's culture, you know. I that's see, that's I my see. beef with Shatrawali. But hey, I still love him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. It's so great having you here, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you know your, your principles about teaching artists, you know, the, the importance of financial literacy. Because I see that on your on your side too, you're always educating people on financial literacy, and I'm, I'm very, very impressed. You know, even to think of the idea of setting up a showbiz credit union, which is the first in the world, that alone in itself is very, very impressive, man. Show him some love, man. It's the man next. And uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your for your music comeback, man. I don't know how to sound like, but you you are always. Um, uh, it, I know it will amaze you because you know I see in future I haven't released for a long time, so I have some wicked stuff coming, coming up. And the young guys, you have to be ready, Charlie. I'm going to give you a tough. Cheers, a lot more time. Yes, yes, man. Uh, it's just been fantastic. Having this man around, man, the cosmic professional, I know why I call him that, a man to respect. One more time, show some love. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, we'll be right back.